Hello, YouTube. This is Brother Mike, man of God on Fire for Christ. I want to thank you once again for letting me into your house or wherever you may be watching this video from. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you in these last hours. Um, I am a pre-tribber. I believe that Jesus Christ is coming any day, any minute, any second. And um, he's coming to take us from this great tribulation that's about to happen. And that's according to 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 16. And according to Revelation 3, 10, God has not appointed us to wrath. He's going to snatch us from that great day that's going to try the whole world. And um, thanks to all the people that's watching this video on Google. If you have not subscribed to me, please do. My channel is dedicated to the coming day of Jesus Christ. I believe that he is Lord. And there is no other name under heaven by which we must be saved. So I want to welcome you into this family. And um, we all are waiting on Jesus Christ's return. And this channel is, is, is dedicated to uplift the saints of God in these last hours. And um, I'm, this video is going to show just how deep the heart of God goes. Now, we will never understand until we get to heaven just how deep god his love goes so deep you know and a lot of people just think that god is just you know a very angry god and you know he's very judgmental a lot of people believe that but god and that couldn't be further from the truth god is a loving god and he decided to come down from heaven and die for us and i'm going to break down these things just how a little deep how god heart goes and i just thank the holy spirit for letting me leave this video but it's probably going to take us a whole a millennium you know to, to understand the heart of god you know and uh, i'm so glad that any day now we're going to learn from god you know and um i want to take you guys to genesis verse 18 and I'm going to be reading a little bit. Now, this is just about how, how much God loves us and how judgment, how God looks at judgment and how much he loves us. And in Genesis chapter 18, verse 20, you know, here it is. God himself is talking to, um, he's talking to, to uh, Abraham because God sees what Sodom and Gomorrah is doing. And I'm going to start reading at verse 20. So, and the Lord says, because of the cries of Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and because their sin is very grievous, I will go down now and see whether they have done all together according to the cries of it, which has come unto me, and if not, I will know. Now, see, God already knows the cries of, but you see how God is so good? You see how God is so good. He already hears the cries. He already knows everything. God is all knowing, all loving, all powerful, but yet he's still willing to come down and see and talk to, to, to um, Abraham. You see that God wanted to fellowship with Abraham. He wanted to fellowship. That's why he came down. He wanted to show Abraham. And he wanted to talk to Abraham. God is not this God that just stays up high and looks down low and doesn't care about us. But God came down from heaven and he observed it right there. You know, creator to creation, God, the father, the son and the Holy Spirit to 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 Abraham is talking to him. And they're right there, one to another, creator to creation. And then it goes on to say that Abraham, you know, Abraham was interceding because God seen the seen the um the destruction that they was doing, you know, idol worshiping, you know, men was having relationship with men and women with women, and it was just all kind of stuff going on. And Abraham seen it too. And Abraham started pleading with the Lord, you know. And I'm just going to paraphrase the things he was saying. He was basically saying, well, Lord, Lord, I, 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 I see all of this evil things. Are you going to punish the good with the evil, with the wicked? Will you, are you going to do that, Lord? 
You know, you are righteous, Lord. And he said, I know I'm made of dust. I know I'm made of, of dust, but can I speak to you openly, Lord? Is it okay for me to speak to you openly? And the Lord basically was like, yes, you can, you, you can speak. And he, he asked the Lord, he said, Lord, if it's 50 righteous people in the land, will you destroy it? Will you destroy it? And the Lord, this is what the Lord answered him and said, verse 26. And the Lord said, if I find in Sodom 50 righteous within the city, I will spare all that place for their sake. Now, let's just imagine it was a million people in Sodom and Gomorrah. Let's just, we just imagine it because we don't know. Now, you mean to tell me that God was willing to spare 999,950 people for the sake of 50 people? And then it goes on to say, you know, Abraham keeps going down and going down. The number keeps going down. And the Lord keeps saying, I will not. I will not. I will not destroy it. I will not. And it goes all the way down to 10 people. 10 people. Now, we're talking about a million people. Remember now, I'm just saying what we just we just um, throwing out a number because we don't know how many people was in the land. Now, we're just saying that if it was just a million people in the land. OK, he went down to 10 people. And the Lord. And the Lord said, I will not destroy the land if it's if it's 10 righteous people in the in the land, I will not destroy it. So you that was so for 10 people in the land, he's willing to save nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety people for the sake of 10 people. Now, do you see how deep the love of God goes? And you got people that say, God don't love the God don't love me. Now, God is the same yesterday, today and forever. Now, you see all this judgment that's happening in the world. Do you see how much it took for Sodom and Gomorrah to get destroyed? It wasn't even 10 righteous people in the land. But you see, one person was interceding for them and you see how God, the number went all the way down to 10. You see that? So if we intercede a little more for our family members that's not saved, for our friends that's not saved, God, you see how the heart of God is? God is so loving, you know? God is so love. He loves us so much, you know? But it comes to a point where, you know, there's more sinning than repenting, and judgment must come. But God doesn't want judgment. He doesn't want you to perish. His will that none perish. God doesn't want anybody to go to hell. You understand? God loves you because God is a God of love. He's a God of life. That's why he came down from heaven and died for you and me. Because he doesn't want you to be in hell. He wants that place just for Satan. And his angels. But see, people choose to rebel. People choose to deny that God is real. But God is in fact real. And he's in fact a loving God. Now I want to take you to one of the most strongest chapters in the Bible. And it's, you know, all the Bible is so important. But if you go to Romans chapter 5, go down to verse 8. This We're talking about the heart of God here. But God commendeth his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. You see, out of all the sin we did in our whole life, out of all the things that we're doing, all the things bad we're doing, all that baggage we had, Christ got on the cross and died for me and you. You see what I'm saying? God loves us and he loves all the people upon this earth. He loves us. Even in our sin, God died for us. And I want to let you know that God loves you. And I want to let you know it comes to a point where we got to accept that, that knock on the door. When God knocks on your heart, you have to open the door because that door is about to close. And that door is the rapture. The rapture is about to happen. You got to make up your mind to love the Lord. Stop living for yourself. It's not about fun. It's not about taking selfies and all of this, you know, things that's 
that's just so it's so wicked the world is so wicked now instagram and all of this stuff it's all about pride people want to think that they're prettier than somebody else people want satan wants you to believe you're better than somebody else but just because you might be a little smarter or brighter than somebody else you're just blessed that doesn't mean you're better than them just because somebody you know you have a better job than somebody that don't have it you think you're better than them no we're all loved by god we cannot overlook people we cannot talk about people just because you're blessed you can lose your job tomorrow while you think you're better than somebody we're all the same whether you're black white chinese european african jamaican god loves us all the same we're all god's children do not let Satan continue to divide us. Intercede like Abraham interceded. Intercede. Pray to God for your families and friends that's not saved. God hears your prayers. Look what, what, what God was willing to do for Sodom and Gomorrah. You see that? God loves us. He loves us. And he doesn't want to give us judgment. Look at how long the bill has passed since this gay law. Look how long, look how long it's been. And we see, we haven't seen really the wrath of God. You see, he's long suffering. He's not like us. He doesn't want to give us wrath. But it comes to a point where we stop praying, where we stop getting down on our knees. We stop repenting, you know, and we're not interceding. And then wrath is going to come. You see what I'm saying? So this video is getting long. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the of the heart of God. And he's not what a lot of people think. He is a loving God. And we're going to know that love any day now. We're going to be in the clouds. And I love you guys. This has been Brother Mike Man of God. If you have any dreams or visions or if you have any prayer requests, I will leave my email address and number at the bottom of this message. God is love, and he showed it on the cross, y'all. Get ready. Get ready, because Jesus is coming.